Hello. In this video, I'm going to show how to write in HTML, that is, hypertext markup language. It's basically just the markup language used to write websites. It's very simple, and I think it's just fairly useful to know. So first, uh, I'm going to open up a file. You can call it anything you want. It should end in a .htm or .html extension. And that's how you start. Just open up a plain text file in your favorite text editor. Usually, you'll start with an open bracket thing here that says doc type HTML. And then you normally have a head, whoops, a head and a closing head tag. This is how tags work in HTML. You would just have the greater than and less than signs like here, and you have the slash right here to close it. And you can also have the body tag, one second, the body tag right here. And this is basically head is used for like styling and sorts of the things that aren't seen on the page itself in body is the actual content. I believe it's actually common to do an HTML tag that goes over all of that. So let's start with the header tags. I'm going to neaten this up a little to make things easier to see. In the body, let's put h1 for the number one largest header. This is the largest header. And if we actually go to the page index.htm, you, you can also just click on this if you're in a more graphical environment. You just need to open to the location of the file. You'll see here we have the largest size for the header. And there are actually six different tags we can use. Let's see, five, six. Uh, I'll manually change these out. It's probably not the most efficient way. And basically these will be in descending size. If we write that file and reload, the, that's basically what it looks like. You can basically like the main header to the page would be like this and subsections would correspondingly get smaller. There's also a paragraph tag, which is pretty common. I'm actually going to put it under a header. I think that's more of what it's intended to be used for. Uh, this is a paragraph. And then we could have another one here, another paragraph. I'm basically just going to copy this to each section. The white space in uh, HTML doesn't really matter. You can kind of organize this however you wanted. I think you could also have it like with no spaces whatsoever. Um, one sec. Yeah, you could do something like this if you wanted, but that isn't very nice to read. So if we reload this, you'll see this is what it looks like. Of course, it doesn't have to be an actual paragraph. <clears throat> you can kind of use that however you would like for a normal content size. I'll just put some random text in here to show how it will look. And with each new tag, it will go to a new line, at least with this one. Now, another useful tag is the image tag. 
the image tag actually doesn't have a closing tag. You would just do image source equals and then whatever the relative file name is. So if I had something in this directory called image.png, I could just use that. If we try reloading, you'll get this broken image because there is no image.png. If I copy an image, let's uh, do pictures, sc screenshots. Uh, I'll just choose one from today, or the most recent one. I mean, I hope it's nothing sensitive image.png whoops it actually had a new line character in it so it wasn't displaying properly but we now have the image here just an image of my desktop I'm going to zoom out a bit obviously you wouldn't want something of this size like this if you wanted to set the width and height of the image you would simply do width equals, say, 600. That's 600 pixels. And height equals, I don't know, uh, 400. And if we reload that, you'll see it's conformed to that size. You can also set one of them to auto, and it will automatically scale it based on the other one. Keep the original aspect ratio. You may also be wondering about style formatting, which is fairly important. That would be CSS type things. Uh, you can either do this inline in the tag, like style equal text align center, and you'll see it's centered here. I could also do body style equals text align center and everything is now centered. I could also do something, you separate the these terms by semicolons by the way. I could do background color colon uh, 111 for the hex color 111 and now it's like that. Then for color you can do I don't know, COB118C, probably the, I don't know, let's see, that looks pretty nice. Um, however, you don't, I'm quickly going to introduce the div tag, which is basically just a divider. I think it's most commonly used to give attributes to a specific section. So I could say div style equals background color ff0000. That should be red. And you'll see that has taken the red background. Another, so now I'll go into some, oh wait. Another useful tag you can use is A or anchor and href I think stands for horizontal reference. You can set this to any link like let's do duck duck if only I could spell dot com dot ddg and if you reload that <laughs> you have a link to DuckDuckGo. You can also, of course, set style things here. Yeah. Uh, color, I don't know, how about FFFFOO? And you've got the yellow text now. You can also put these in line for example, in a paragraph, and you now have that in that section.
you it doesn't have to be a URL. You can also make it a file. Let's quickly make another uh, HTML thing. Uh, H1 I, and we're just going to pipe that into temp index 2htm So now if we make this here, I'll, I'll make one at the bottom. Index 2htm We can just have that quick here and we've got index2.htm just high. You can also do HR, which is not human resources, but horizontal rule. It basically just makes a horizontal line that can divide sections. And just this is pretty good just for putting information, but sometimes this can get a bit messy with the styling. Uh, so now I'm going to show things that normally go in the head section. So let's just do title my website. This is in charge of the title up here. So now we'll say my website in the tab right there. Oh wait. Yeah, ignore that. I had a custom style sheet on my browser, so I can switch things. But this is what it looks like without that. The way you'd want to add a global style is simply with the style tag. You can, it works like this. Let's say I wanted h1 and then font family Arial, I guess. Color white background color black. And what this should do is make all H1s have an Arial font, a white um, text, and a black background. This is having some issues because it's in a div that has specified qualities. But let's try adding another h1 somewhere else to see what it does. Here's some text. Sample text. And you'll see these are some h1s that are in Arial. Okay, you want the, don't put colors in quotes. Just leave them as is. I could even say background color sky blue. And there you go. So you can also do things with classes. Let's say special class. Let's have that with Text align right. Color is a really easy one to do, so I like to do that one. And okay. Now, if you go into a tag, you can say class equals special tag. I think that's what I call Oh, special class. And then you can make some more things. And I can even do like H3 or something random. And we'll see all these sections, they have, they have yellow text. They are not right aligned though. That might be because this body specifies this text align. 
Okay, you don't want that in quotes either, apparently. But as you'll see, you now have things aligned on the right. Some additional fun tags might be the bold tag. Here is some bold text. Where is that? Okay. Um, for some reason it's highlighted orange. Oh wait. Yeah, there you go. That's my search thing. Then you also have the I tag. I don't think you need these inside P. That makes it italic. And I think underline might be you. I'm going to check. Yeah, it's doing that in the text editor. So there you go, some underlined text. I think there's also Marky. Uh, I don't know if I spelled that right or if it's been deprecated. Let's check. Yeah, there you go. You got some nice moving text. I can try putting a lot more text to make the effect more apparent. go back. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, there you go. Not lots of moving text. There also used to be a blink tag, but I don't think that's in HTML anymore. Yeah, it's just normal text. There are also some additional effects you can apply to the styles, like a hover. And then you could say color, I don't know, zero, zero, F, 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 F. Um, I wonder what will happen if I text align this center, I guess. So now if you hover over a link, wait. If you hover over it, it will turn to that specific color. I would neglected to put the semicolon here. That's important to do. And if I hover over these, okay, they won't take effect because they're in that weird div. You can also do a visited. Let's make that 00FF00. So since we visited it, it's now that nice green color. I think that's the basics to HTML. You can do a lot with just that. So I hope that was helpful.